So I'd like to talk to you about common mistakes that people make when installing Hardy VL Plank. Now, once you've understood the system and you follow the installation guide, there's not a lot that can go wrong. However, there are some mistakes that people make. Now, in no order, I'll start with handling the product and storage. So just like most building materials, you need to store it correctly. So it needs to be stored flat, it needs to be dry and not get wet because what you don't want it to do is get saturated and then try to fit it, okay? It's really, really important and I can't stress that enough. Secondly, people don't plan the job out enough and they don't work out what they need in good time. Okay, so what I'm talking about there is even ordering the right quantity of material. And indeed, it's no good just working out the square meterage. Sometimes you need to look at an elevation and say, how much will I get left out of a board? Will there be many joints and can I use the offcuts elsewhere? And I think that's super important. So spend a bit of time looking at your drawings, measuring up on site and working out where you're going to use the lengths. The lengths come in 3.6 meters. So you've got quite a lot of cover. Indeed, many houses are no more than seven meters wide. So it's never any more than a couple of boards wide. So it's super important that you measure it correctly order the right profiles that you need and make sure if you're working on a block structure, for example, you use the correct width of batten or thickness of batten. So they're the fundamentals that you've really got to think about. You've got to think about planning, you've got to think about storage and handling the material as well. So what you don't do is carry it flat and floppy because if you're on your own and you're doing that, you might be careless and you might break it or something like that. We don't want to do that. You simply hold it upright like you would a long plank of timber and walk with it. Now, it's got a protective film on it. So obviously cutting, you'd lay it on its face and you'd cut through the back. And then once you're ready, you can carefully take the film off, seal the ends, and then you're ready to install it and fix it up on the building itself. It's also really important to consider health and safety whilst using Hardy VL Plank. Obviously a mask, eye protection, ear defenders, and gloves. So another common mistake is people tend to use the wrong fixings, okay? Indeed, some people are using a nail gun, a normal nail gun, to fix this back, and it's just not gonna work. The nails are generally 51 millimeters or more, and there's too much force, it's just not gonna work. It's gonna break the board and we just don't want that. Also, overfixing with a screw is also gonna be a big problem. So if you're gonna drive the screw in and keep driving it in, it's gonna damage the board, just like it would damage timber or any other material. Just make sure you fix the screws in the right position. It's really simple, it's 25 millimeters down from the top of the edge and it's no less than 15 millimeters in from the end of a board where you're fixing at the end or against a butt joint. What we're looking for is a nice parallel screw. What we don't want to do is screw like this because you can see then it's going to increase the depth of the screw and you will experience trouble putting that lovely tongue and groove detail together. So that is a definite no-no. Another common mistake would be not allowing the correct ventilation behind your cladding. All cladding, all facades need ventilating. It doesn't matter what kind of material you're using, you still need to ventilate. Hardy VL Plank is a wonderfully fitted system. It fits beautifully together. You've got this lovely V groove and therefore it's almost airtight once it goes together. So you need to make sure that you've vented the structure correctly. You've used the proper ventilation profiles at the bottom and indeed the top. And where you meet a soffit or an underside of a window, or indeed barge boards, soffit boards, you need to leave an air gap. That also means that your batten arrangement doesn't want a headpiece and it doesn't want a sole piece. So Hardy VL Plank is a horizontal or vertical application. The difference being when you're running horizontal, you use the starter profile at the bottom. And when you're running vertical, you use the window head or vertical starter profile. It has integrated drainage in the bottom of it. And you'd put that at the bottom and then you would stand all the boards in. And it looks very similar to a J-Track that you would use at the end of a run. For example, if you're wrapping around the front of a building, 
coming to a section where it be goes to face brickwork or render, you'd use the J-Track, but they look exactly the same. There's three corner details as well, so make sure you order the one that you want. There's the corner profile, and then there's the two-part one, which you can see here. There's also a fiber cement version as well, which you can put over the top and lay the other one into the back. It's purely down to choice. There's not a right one or a wrong one. It's down to choice. But I would say one of the biggest mistakes people make is simply setting out incorrectly to start with. So just remember to step back, think, look at all the datums, work out a rod, a simple rod, and see where you're gonna finish on a window, where you can start from, because sometimes as little as 15 millimeters over the height of the building can make a lot of difference. It will be the difference we have between having an uncomfortable rip somewhere or a board which doesn't quite meet exactly where you want it to. So make sure you get your starter trims really nice and level. Don't get caught out by the fact that it goes up 10 millimeters from the bottom of where the finished plank is when you're working horizontally, okay? So really, really think this through. So if you're embarking on a cladding project and you'd like to use Hardy VL Plank, then click the link in this video's description for an installer pack. It shows you the colors and it gives you a lot of information all about the product. So click the link here now.